Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at logarithms and we're going to look at how we can use our calculator to work our logarithms. Now, in our previous video, an introduction to logarithms, we looked at if we've got something in index form, for instance, a to the power of n is equal to x, where a is the base, n is the power, and x is the answer, we can write it in this form using logarithms, where we've got log to base a of x is equal to n, where it means what power do we raise a by to get to x, and then the answer would be n, the power. And in this video, we're going to look at how we can use our calculator to work these out. Now, in that previous video, the introduction to logarithms, the logarithms that we looked at were quite nice where we could work out the power of n quite nicely. But in this video, we're going to use our calculator to do that. So let's have a look at our first question. Our first question says, calculate the following, and we've got log to base 2 of 4096. So in other words, what power would we raise 2 by to get 4096? So let's have a look at that now. So depending on the calculator that you're using, the position of the log buttons may change slightly. So here on this calculator, we want to type in log to base 2 of 4096. So the button we want to press is this one here. You can see we've got the log, we've got the base, and then that box. So if we press that button there, you can see now we've got log to base something of something. So we want to do log to base 2, so we're going to press 2, and then the arrow, and then 4096, and then press equals, or exe, execute. And we get an answer of 12. So the log to base 2 of 4096 is equal to 12. Okay, now let's have a look at a different model. So here in this calculator, you can see the button is there. So you press that one, log to base 2 of 4096 and then press equals and again the answer is 12 so the position is just slightly changed and then if you had a calculator like this one here if we turn it on the log button again is just there and you're looking for that log with the base and then the box and you press that button and then type in 2 and 4096 and again the answer is 12 and that's it and as we've seen the answer is 12 so the answer is 12 and that's it okay let's look at our next question Okay, so our next question says calculate the following to three significant figures, and we've got log to base 3 of 20. So in other words, what power do we need to raise 3 by to get to 20? Now I can tell this is going to be a decimal number because the question says give our answer to three significant figures, but also 3 squared is 9, and 3 to the power of 3 is 27, so this is going to be 2 point something. And let's have a look at how we can use our calculator to work that out. Okay, so we want to type in log to base 3 of 20, so we just press that button, log to base 3, and then across, and then 20, and then press executor equals. And we get that's equal to 2.72683328, and that's it. So as we've seen, the answer is equal to 2.72683328. But we've been asked to give our answer to three significant figures. So let's round that to three significant figures. So that's going to be 2.7. And then we've got 2.6, so we're going to round up, so it'll be 3. So the answer to three significant figures would be 2.73. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, calculate the following to four significant figures. I've been asked to work out log of 500. Now remember, if there's no base, the base is 10, so this is log to base 10 of 500. So in other words, what power do we raise 10 by to get 500? Now 10 squared is 100, and 10 cubed is 1,000. So it's going to be in between 2 and 3, and we need to figure out what it's going to be. So let's use our calculator to work that out. Okay, this time we want to work out the log of 500. So it's log to base 10. You could, if you want to, type in log and then type in the base 10 of 500 and then press execute or equals and get the answer that way. But because it's just log on the calculator here, you can see in yellow or gold there on my one, just there, you can see you've got that little log. So I'm going to press shift and then that button and you see it's just brought up log. So we don't need to type in the base because the calculator knows we're dealing with base 10. And then press 500 and then close brackets, I like to close the brackets there, and then press EXE, and you get that's equal to 2.69897004, and that's it. So as well as having this button where you can type in the base, you could press shift and then that button, and it just do log to base 10, and it'll just say log because it knows it's base 10. So in this calculator, if you want to type in the base, you press that log button there, log to base, and you can type in the base, but if we want to just type in the log of 500, you can press shift, and then here, then that button, you've got log, and then type in 500, and then close brackets, and then press equals. So you've got the log where you can type in the base, or if it's base 10 already, you can just, in this calculator, press shift, and then that button there. 
And then this calculator here, I really like this one because you've got the log with the base button there and then the log button there. So in this one, you don't need to press shift. You can just press that log button and then type in 500 and then close brackets. Now, unfortunately, this one's an older model. So as we've seen, the answer is going to be equal to 2.69897004. And to four significant figures, well, rounding this to four significant figures will be 2.69. And then the fourth significant figure, we've got eight, nine, so we're going to round up, so it's going to be nine. So the answer to four significant figures would be 2.699. So the log of 500, or log to base 10 of 500, is equal to 2.699 to four significant figures. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, this time we've been asked to calculate the following to three significant figures, and then we've got a log of 9,250. So again, because there's no base mentioned here, this is log to base 10. So we're saying what part do we raise 10 by to get 9,250? Now, as we've seen, 10 cubed is 1,000, and 10 to the power of 4 is 10,000. So this is going to be in between 3 and 4, and let's use our calculator to work this out. Okay, so we want to do the log of 9,250, and obviously the base here is 10, so we're just going to press shift and then the squared button, and it brings up the log to base 10, and then just 9,250, close brackets, and then equals, and that's equal to 3.96614173. And that's equal to 3.96614173. And we need to round this to three significant figures, so that's going to be 3.9. And then we've got 6, 6, so we're going to round up to so 7. So the three significant figures, the answer is 3.97. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, this time we've been asked to calculate the following to three significant figures. And we've got log to base 15 of 2. So in other words, what power do we raise 15 by to get an answer of 2? Now here, if we have 15 to the power of 0, that's equal to 1. And 15 to the power of 1 is equal to 15. So the answer is going to be 0 point something. So let's work this out. Okay, so this time we want to work out log to base 15 or 2. So we're going to press our log button. Log to base 15, go across 2, and then equals. And the answer is 0 0.25595802428. And that's equal to 0 0.25595802428. And to three significant figures, that's going to be 0 0.25. And then we've got, that's two significant figures. Well, we've got five nines, so we're going to round up. So that's going to be six. So that's 0 0.256. So log to base 15 of 2 is equal to 0 0.256, the three significant figures. Okay, let's have a look at one more question. This time we've been asked to calculate the following to three significant figures. And we've got log to base 4 of 0 0.132. So here we're saying what power do we raise 4 by to get an answer of 0 0.132? Now, 4 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Now, this is below 1. It's not point something. So it's going to have a negative power because it's going to be 1 over something. So we get this decimal number of 0 0.132. So let's type into our calculator now and see what it is. Okay, this time we want to work out log to base 4 of 0 0.132. So we're going to press our log button with the base to base 4. 4 going across 0 0.132 and press equals and the answer is negative 1.46069508 and as we've seen the answer is equal to minus 1.46069508 and to three significant figures that's going to be minus 1.46 and that's it. That's it to three significant figures. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to use our calculator to work out different logarithms. And as I've mentioned in the video, there's different models of calculators. So make sure you know where the log, where you can type in the base button is on your calculator. And also just the log button, the log to base 10. So make sure you know where they are on your calculator because you're going to be using them quite a bit. In this video, we've looked at how to use a calculator to work out logarithms. In our next video, we're going to look at whenever we've been given logarithms, how to work out missing bases and also how to work out missing values here of X. And we'll look at that in our next video. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.